Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Uh, my name is Anna and I'm glad to have you guys here. Today is episode six of my Whole House Declutter series and I'm tackling my closet. Um, it's a lot in here. It's a small space. It's not laid out very well. Um, so, and it's full. I have decluttered this closet one time before and I got rid of a lot. Um, I'm going to be more ruthless this time around. Um, I've held on to things that I have not even touched since my last declutter. Um, so I'm going to get rid of those things. There are some pieces in here that belong to my mom. I'm going to hang on to those for sure. Or maybe just put them away for now. Um, I'm not ready to wear her clothes that she passed down to me before she passed so um i'll probably just put those away for now just to kind of free up some space in my closet but let me show you what i have going on and i hope you guys enjoy this video i've been looking forward to slash dreading this video um only because my biggest issue is i don't know how to organize it um like I said, it's not laid out very well. If you hear a bunch of noise, it's my cat. He's, here I'll show you what he's doing. He's attacking the rug, but anyways. Um, so organization is a big issue in my closet. Um, I'm gonna declutter everything first and then figure out um, how I'm going to organize it and I might actually end up buying organizers just so I can keep my clothes somewhat together and you know, so they kind of make sense. I hope I'm making sense. I feel like I'm just rambling on. Anyways, let me show you the closet. But here is my closet. I did not do anything in here before showing you my closet. That's just how it is. Um, oh, there it is, all of it and all of its glory. laundry just stuff everywhere so that is my closet um, I'm going to pull everything out of it put it on the bed and touch every piece one by one and figure out what I'm keeping and what I'm donating um, I am gonna pull my blanket off put that in the wash I do have a load of uh, laundry going in the washer and I have a basket of laundry to fold. There will always be laundry no matter what. So I'm going to do that first and then we'll get to decluttering. guys and welcome back to my channel I'm so glad to have you here and today I am tackling my dreaded master closet I'm not really sure why I've been avoiding this declutter but um, I on this day I finally just you know said enough is enough and I started to declutter it and clean it all out 
and I'm glad I did because I got rid of a lot of stuff. Um, there was also just a lot of garbage in there. Um, I'm not sure why, but I got rid of all of that. I got rid of a lot of clothes and just things I was storing in there that did not belong in there. I start off with putting away my laundry that I had in the, my laundry basket. Like I said, there will always be laundry no matter what. So I pick up all the trash in my room and then I pick up all the tr visible trash out of the closet. And um, yeah, th like I said, there was just a lot of garbage in here. I don't know why, but I also keep my stash of candy in here from Henry so he doesn't know that's there so it, it's my it's mama's secret stash of chocolates okay it's gonna be very hard for me to film in here as I'm decluttering because this closet is tiny um, I don't know how well the camera is picking up on just how small this closet is but um, yeah I can't get good angles or good shots in here because I it's just such a tiny closet I'm just gonna pull everything out and um, try to figure something out so you guys can actually see how cluttered it is and just just yeah so I'm gonna pull everything out lay it out on the bed and go from there So that was all of the stuff that came out of my closet and I was honestly surprised. Um, I thought I was doing a good job of, you know, pulling stuff out that didn't belong in there or, you know, um, pulling stuff out as I brought in, you know, new clothes or things like that. But apparently that was not the case. So before I put anything back into the closet I give it a good clean wipe everything down vacuum and mop the floors and then I get to decluttering I do have to be honest with you guys I had no idea where to start it was very overwhelming and I actually felt overwhelmed the entire time I was decluttering probably because I was not ante anticipating so much stuff um, in that came out of this closet but I start with decluttering the obvious things I don't want to keep. And that is that b pile of the fan and the blue foam mat. I didn't touch those since my last declutter and I knew those had to go. So that's what I did. I started getting rid of the obvious things I knew I didn't want to keep. Once I did that um, on the bench, I moved over to my nightstand. And you're going to have to um, excuse my filming here. Uh, you, I didn't realize just how zoomed in my camera was until I started editing. So this part here, it's very uh, close. It's, it's So I um, it does get fixed, but not for a couple more minutes. So I got rid of a lot of the stuff that was in these boxes. I used to get a subscription to Friends Merchandise. I canceled that subscription. So I kept what I wanted out of those boxes and the rest I um, donated. And now I am going through my mom's clothes. I am just folding them up and setting them on my husband's nightstand. And I'm going to put those clothes away. Like I said in the beginning of the video, I'm not quite ready to wear her clothes yet. But when the time comes, I will be uh, taking them back out of the um, storage bin. I have them in now. To the moon and back, we had a love like that. Why do I feel like that's slowly fading? We used to be friends.
So one of the things I did not get rid of um, is my concert tees. I kept all of them uh, because I love them and I will probably be buried with all of them. Um, I love them and I wear them all the time. So, you know, why would I get rid of them? So the last concert I went to was uh, to see George Strait in Seattle and he was with Chris Stapleton and Little Big Town and it was a really fun concert. My sister and I spent the night in Seattle and we just had a great time and that I believe that was last May. Um, Yelena, if you are watching this, let me know. I think it was in May when we saw him and he is, you know, for an old man, he put on a really great show. So the next concert we're hoping to go to is to see um, Alan Jackson. I know I've heard rumors that he's retiring, so hopefully we can see him before he retires officially. But let me know down below if you guys hang on to certain clothes for, you know, whatever reason, you know, like my concert tees. At this point in the declutter, I hit a wall. I was overwhelmed and when I dumped that last load of laundry that I had to fold onto the bed, I just was over it. I wanted to basically shove all my clothes back into the laundry basket and not do this anymore. Um, I think that's normal with a declutter. It's just so overwhelming and like I said in the beginning, I was feeling overwhelmed the entire time I was doing this and um, I was just ready to give up, but I, but I kept going and I finished. I really want to give up. I just want to shove everything back in my closet and call it a day. I know that is not the way to do it. go about this. I have my clothes folded. What I really need is a way to store my sweatshirts and I'm gonna go to Ross and Marshall today Marshall's and see if maybe I can find something there to help me better organize my sweatshirts because they're so bulky if not I found some options on Amazon that should hopefully help um, so we'll see what I find. Um, there might this might this video might be a two part, not a two part, like a two day video. So we shall see. Um, but I want to at least get this stuff um, put away. I'm gonna as I'm gonna start putting things away. I'm gonna cut back, probably pull more stuff out to donate. So we'll see. I'm just, this is like the, I'm at the part where I just want to throw, <laughs> just want to give up. So, almost there. So Ross and Marshalls did not have any organizers that I needed, but I did order some off of Amazon and I'm not too fond of those either. So I am going to keep on looking until I find something that fits. Okay, so it's been many hours since I last checked in with you guys, it is almost eight o'clock. Um, it's been a very stressful day. <laughs> it's 
So our washing machine broke this week and we had a used one sitting in the garage for a while. We put that in a couple of days ago and then that washer broke so now we're without a washer. Um, and then other stuff happened. It's just, it's been a very stressful day. But um, it's 8 o'clock. I want to go to bed but I can't because I still have all of this. Um, so let's get the rest of my clothes hung up in the closet, put away, and then um, clean up the mess that's behind me and in front of me. And hopefully it shouldn't take me very long. Um, so yeah, let's get started. So this day um, was a really rough day for our family. You know, with the washer breaking, um, and then just uh, Henry came home from school, and he was in a he was in a bad mood, and just things just kind of went from you know bad to worse pretty quickly. But um, when we got home finally on this day, and when I walked into my bedroom, it's like, oh yeah, I still have to put all of this stuff away. But it didn't take me very long. I think I was done a little after um, 8.30 and I was in bed by 9 o'clock on this night. So I just put everything back in my closet. I, you know, um, put all of my mom's clothes in a bag and uh, clean up my bedroom a little bit and you'll see just how much stuff I am getting rid of So this blue bag here is called the take back bag and what it is you recycle your old clothes that are ripped or torn or have holes in them that you can't donate so that's what that is if you guys are interested in them I'll send um, I'll leave a link down below um, I bought this bag on my own, so I'm not making anything out of it. But here I am counting all of the items that I am donating to my local thrift store. Um, and there was 36 items going to the thrift store. And you could tell my dogs are just so over the day themselves. They were ready for bed. And I'm sure they were wondering what the heck I was still doing up and not getting ready for bed. Okay, so I am done um, decluttering and almost done organizing. So let me show you what I have going on. Um, this is to donate. There's 36 items in here in this pile here. This is my mom's clothes. I am putting it away in a bin that's downstairs. This is the take back bag. I need to print a label to send that off. This is garbage and recycling. Um, I don't know what that is. I need to look through that bag. I think it's just trash. Uh, this thing needs to be put away. This is dirty laundry. The dogs are getting ready for the night. Um, I need to put sheets on the bed. Thankfully, I have a clean set of sheets. Um, because I'm going to be going to the laundry mat for probably two, three weeks. Thankfully, most of our, my laundry got done before our washer crapped out on us. So before I go to bed for the night, I am going to put sheets on the bed, take all of this stuff downstairs, um, and then let's do some after shots. Okay, so let me kind of tell you what I got going on. Suitcase, bedding, extra blanket, sheets. Um, these are my 
nicer going out tops. Uh, my dresses. Um, down here is just my old man cardigans. Just my everyday kind of wear. Um, painting shirts. I know the lighting in here is so terrible. Um, so sorry about that. Up here, if you watched my Makeup Declare video, this is just a lot of my makeup backups. Well, some of my makeup backups and just makeup palettes I'm currently hanging on to. I just keep hangers in there, extra hangers, the plastic ones. Um, my iPad lives here for right now. It's just a shelf. I don't know what to do with it. Um, my bras are in here. Pajamas. My slippers. Down here are my fancy shoes. And this is just purses and bags. Leg uh, my leggings live here. That's empty. Jeans. Um, cargo. Oops. Focus. Cargo pants. And my sweatpants. Sweatshirts. And here's my seasonal, my shorts, and my seasonal sweatshirts. So there's my closet declutter. I feel like I got rid of a lot, and I'm actually happy with what I, I've kept. Um, I do want to buy better quality clothes that I like that may cost a little bit more up front. But I know they're going to last me for a few years. So that's my goal is to buy higher quality items instead of just your Walmart sweatshirts, even though I love them. But there might be an organizational video kind of following this one once I figure out how I'm going to organize all of this. Because this is going to last me maybe for a couple of weeks if I'm really good. Um... But I need some bins, something that I can organize my clothes. Um, if you're wondering where my husband's clothes are, they're downstairs in the guest room closet. Because um, this is such a tight closet. My stuff, his stuff, it was just so overwhelming. Um, so he just moved his stuff downstairs. He's happy and I'm happy. So I know it might not be for all couples, but that's just what works for us. Um, okay guys, I will see you in my next video. Um, I'm not sure what if that's going to be another declutter series or declutter video, but it'll be posted soon, whatever it is. So have a good night guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please consider subscribing if you haven't already and I'll see, catch you guys later. Bye.